So uh, this is sort of a little bit nerdier where we're going to get into some of the design changes and a little bit of the engineering philosophy behind the design changes. Um, if it isn't something that interests you, that's fine. We go into a lot more detail, but I just wanted to kind of show the changes, why the changes were made and sort of the effort that went into the changes. Uh, so you guys are confident we're looking at every possible way that we can make the system better through this process. All right, so here's the reservoir. Here's one that we did a whole bunch of cool add-ons that I think are gonna add so much extra to it. Uh, we'll start with the first one. You'll notice there's some little bumps that are in the reservoir. So these are actually used to make aligning the pillars way easier. And then that way they're not able to kind of slip and slide if they could. Uh, big part, we wanted to make sure that all the weight is all being distributed to the floor. Um, so that's where we added these. And it's really cool because it makes the assembly that much easier because now nothing can kind of shift out of place. You're gonna notice there's a bunch of little holes all the way around. So what we did is we added clips to the trays and now they're gonna actually snap into place. So what's really cool, the reason we had to do this, um, the trays, they can push down on the reservoir and that means that the, the weight of the system isn't going to move as long as it's kind of being pushed down. The problem is, is if it like tries to pull up, there's nothing holding it from, from pulling up, the trays from pulling up. So we wanted to clip it to the reservoir. So in order for the trays to pull up, it would have to pull the entire reservoir up, which is filled with water. It's just not gonna happen. So uh, basically the goal is we want that tray completely molded to this reservoir and it cannot move unless this reservoir moves. And then everything builds on that. So the stronger this base is, the stronger the entire system is going to be. So we put a lot of energy in making sure that this base is super duper strong to the point where it's got little uh, holders so that all that weight goes directly to the ground on the reservoir and then the tray cannot move. The next thing is we have a little flange, um, which is basically a little corner kind of piece that comes out. And that was just to add rigidity so that there's no risk of it kind of getting floppy during transportation. And that's pretty much it. Like we, we added a whole bunch of ribs and a bunch of details so that it's sturdier. Uh, it's filled with water. We don't want it to bow out. So the more kind of ridges and little curves you can make, the harder it is for it to flex. Then we added finally a little cutout uh, right here and that's just to run the cords. So now everything's really, really clean. We upgraded all the cords to white. So it'll be a nice white cord that comes out the back that you plug in. It's got the GFI plug attached to it. So now it, um, if there's any issues with the electrical and the water, uh, then it just cuts off the power. And we didn't have to do that, but we just wanted to again, add as much value as we could. So that's the reservoir. So this is a quick one. You'll notice that there's two different size holes and that's just so that when, uh, this is for the electrical, when you push the electrical sides in, they're always faced the right way. And that way you can't assemble it wrong. So it's just a little add-on so it can't be assembled wrong. So we had the idea of making a float, but we wanted to take it one step up and actually have little level indicators. And then we're working on also having ink to show you very, um, very openly like what the level is. So that means you can just look at a glance and you know if it's half full, you know it's 25% full. Really simple, but it's just other ways that we try and make it so it's a little easier for you to maintain the garden. Hey, so you might notice that the light cover that goes on the very top here has changed slightly. Uh, and this was because we wanted to keep the assembly very simple. So we used the same tray for the entire assembly, but also there's some additional things you can do with this. So when you're wanting to clean the system, you can flip it upside down and the tray fits perfectly inside this. So that means that you can pull the tray off, put it in here and there's no risk of things leaking or dripping as you're taking it back and forth from, the, um, from wherever you're needing to wash it. And just a, another way to try and make use of a piece differently so that it makes taking care of the system that much easier. So this is a 3D printed corner of the tray. We don't have the trays quite yet, but we use this for testing. So we got away from the O-rings and instead we're gonna be using these silicone inserts that just fit on, on top. 
and then the water pillar just slides into place over top of these. Um, now, because of some of the issues we've been having with the water pillar, it's not fitting, and that's why we're making some of the changes. But this is nice because it just gives us a lot more freedom where things don't have to be perfect for things to seal. Uh, also, fairly uh, simple to assemble. This piece just goes on top, and then the other piece just goes inside on, on top of the, the corner of the tray. So, um, same thing, make things really simple to assemble, and it just gives us more room for things to not be perfect, and it still works. So this is the hanger that's going to be included in all the kits for, for free, at least for the Kickstarter for the pre-buy. So the way this works is that it's actually going to clip into the trays and then you can mount it to the wall. So it's going to come with the uh, screws so you can mount it to the drywall. You don't have to actually find a stud. Um, and it's actually made out of metal. So originally it was going to be plastic, but just to make sure it's really, really sturdy, we made it all out of metal and it just clips into place. You put your screws in and now you could, your system is going to be so sturdy, uh, you don't have to worry about pets knocking it over or climbing on it. And that's what we want to do, just uh, have it so that there's no possible way for that to actually fall over. So of course to uh, keep you from listening to hours and hours of all the different little tweaks and stuff, those are the major changes, the ones that I think are adding a ton more to the system. Um, and when we come up with the trays and all of the injection mold samples, we'll go into some detail about those because there's a bunch of changes. But that's a quick summary of all the new pieces, all the changes, and how they're going to make the system that much more awesome.